Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to Barstool Sports, because legally, we're not allowed to have one. Today, we're going to preview the football games you will be forced to watch, or choose to watch, this Thanksgiving. But I think I speak for myself and Sam when I say, what the f*** happened to the Broncos? They have become the Wolf of Wall Street of the NFL. They went with Peyton and Von Miller riding a championship, hanging out with Margot Robbie, to having one of the worst offensive lines. What did you do? And now they are riding one of the worst losing streaks in franchise history with a six-game losing streak, the worst since 1990. They made one move today to fire Mike McCoy, which is the first part of the chopping block for the Denver Broncos. Anyway, I'm thankful for the run they've had two years ago, but they have completely fell off the earth, and something has to change. We'll be thankful for a high draft pick. Okay, to the football games. First course is the Los Angeles Chargers versus the Dallas Cowboys. The LA Chargers are coming off of a blowout victory against the Buffalo Bills. Meanwhile, the Dallas Cowboys were blown out themselves by the Red Hot Boys of Broad Street, the Philadelphia Eagles. Tim, what do you think of that matchup? Let me tell you this. The Chargers dropped 54 points last night. 54. That feat hasn't been accomplished by the franchise since 1985. So if anything, I think those are our boys. And what do you think of the Dallas Cowboys' chances of... Dallas Cowboys, man, let me tell you, let me tell you about this. Well, we got Dak Prescott, right, throwing bombs out there. Listen, I don't think he's going to be any match for the explosive offense of the LA Chargers. Next, we have a crucial NFC North matchup between the Detroit Lions, who are 6-4, and four, and the Minnesota Vikings, who are 7-3. and three. This should be the best game of the day, considering that first place in the NFC North is on the line. Who do you give the advantage to, Tim? I think this is finally Matthew Stafford's year. He's broken the mold. He's come forth as one of the top quarterbacks in the NFL, given with all the other guys hurt right now. I think he's a man. Do you see them walking away with the division? Division? Pfft. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves, Andrew. Oh, well. Finally, we have the now 2-8 New York football Giants going up against the Washington Redskins in our nation's capital. The Giants are coming off a huge win against the Kansas City Chiefs, and they're playing for pride at this point. However, Kirk Cousins and the Washington Redskins still think they can make a wild card spot. Tim, what are your thoughts? You know what? I feel like the Giants just may be the guys. They're going to tell the Redskins, no, you're not going to get that wild card spot because we just caught off a huge victory in overtime last night against the Chiefs. So, you know what? I think Ben McAdoo, with his slick back hair and his sunglasses, is going to pull the Giants together for another victory, and we're going to three, see a 3-8 and eight team by Thursday night. So your picks for the three games are? Well, it's going to be the Giants. It's going to be the Lions. So, Tim, if I might ask, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? Well, for Thanksgiving, Andrew, every year, my family and I, we get together at our grandparents' home. And I go to their house, and we make a large turkey in a pot outside, and we deep fry the bird. Now, numbers of American homes across the country burn down because of this turkey every year. So my family is sure to not burn down the house every time. So I'll be praying to God we'll eat that turkey safe and sound when we get there this upcoming Thursday. That sounds nice. So what I'm doing for Thanksgiving is I'll be working and spending Thanksgiving here in Brooklyn. But for Thanksgiving weekend, I'll be getting to see my cousins in Philadelphia and we'll be talking about football and the games we watched, and it should be a good time. There you have it. From here at Barstool Sports and all of us here at SFC and Terrier TV, we want to wish you a happy and healthy Thanksgiving. Until next time, see ya.